doing a tutorial on this Doja Cat trippy TikTok song, Say So. So let me break down on how they did the effect first. I'm 100% sure they shot it at 60 frames per second or even higher. They then just rotoscoped Doja Cat by herself and then each clone has a different percentage of speed. So you can have a 90% clone and then or a 50% speed clone and then they just change the colors of each individual clone. That's how they can have different colors of the clones and still have a very smooth slow motion. Since I downloaded the video off of YouTube, I only have a 24 frames per second video, so I can't really use the same technique that they used, but I'm gonna show you two different techniques that doesn't rely on the frames per second of your video. And then one, I'm gonna use a Sapphire plugin with it, but don't worry, because I'm gonna show you how to do it without any plugins, which actually looks better. Follow the IG, subscribe, like, and comment what you wanna see next. First things first, you're gonna want your clip in After Effects, so right click your clip, replace it with After Effects Composition, and it'll open up a whole new composition in After Effects. First thing we're gonna be doing is roto brushing her out. So click your on your clip right here on the timeline, and go to the left and click on it, press Control D or Command D if you have a Mac, that'll duplicate your clip. Make sure your top clip is selected. Go up here to these little tool sets, and this little man with the little brush, just click that. Go to your video preview, double click that, and then now this green cursor will come up. Now our subject that we're gonna be rotor brushing is Doja Cat. So I just want to scribble kind of inside uh, Doja Cat like this and then just try to get it the best I can. Now it's selected more than what we needed. So all I have to do is hold Alt and then just select, just drag over the things I don't want. Once you finish your first frame, uh, this rotor brush will use artificial intelligence to figure out where you're trying to select. So if I go two more frames to the right, it should have Doja Cat already selected. And then I just go every two frames with my cursor. I move two frames to the right. And just make sure my selection is um, looking nice. So if I do this for the whole clip, I don't see any parts breaking up except right here it sees the sitting line. So I'm going to hold Alt again and then deselect that, and then just clean this up a bit. So if you watch the whole thing, my clip selection or my selection of Doge Cat is pretty nice, so I'm gonna use it. So I just need to go back to the composition panel, which is above the video preview right here where it says composition, just click that. And then now you're in the composition panel. Now to know if you have a good rotor brush, just go over to your clips right here and then unselect the bottom clip and then you should be able to just to see your selection. Obviously this can be cleaned up more, but you know, since it's a tutorial, you guys can uh, clean it up. So I'm gonna show you a plugin that can do the effect relatively fast, and you don't have to pretty much keep duplicating the clips. So it's called Sapphire Plugins, and in Sapphire Plugins, it's called Trails. So a lot of you, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know about Sapphire Plugins, but once I look up trails, it's gonna be S underscore trails. If I drag that on to my top clip, which is my selection, I would have an echo effect already happening. And then now to change the color, go to the effect controls, and then this preview hue shift, you can change that. And then if you look again, it'll have a crazy disco effect right here. Now we don't want the disco effect on her, as in her changing colors, we want the echoes to be changing colors. So just select your top clip again, press Control D, that'll duplicate your top clip. Make sure the top, top of the clip, as in out of all the clips you have, the top most clip is selected. Go to your effect controls and then uncheck the S underscore trails. Now you'll have a crazy psychedelic thing. Now it doesn't look as good as the one in the music video. So let me show you a way to do it again without any plugins. So if you're starting right here, you have your selection. Press Control D, that'll duplicate it. Now select the middle clip, which is your new selection, and then look up Echo. Now under Time, Echo will be right here. Just drag that onto your second clip, and then it'll automatically have in your effect controls, it'll make a copy, like kind of an echo. And right here where it says echo times seconds, it'll automatically be negative 0.033. 
Now for this effect, I found the best was negative point zero. Okay, so negative zero point one. So zero point one. Change that, and then it's just that will just lag a little bit less behind her. So if you see that her second part of her is lagging. Um, more than it than it did before. Now we just need to change the color of the second one. So if you look up color, just in your effect uh, search menu, look up color, and you'll see color balance HLS. Drag that onto your second clip, and then you can just spin this wheel to get a desired color, like about blue, right here. And to make it less uh, let's say harsh. I just have to change the opacity. So I'm going to select the second clip, press T on my keyboard, and I'm just going to change this to 75% opacity. And now it has more of a faded in look. Now, to get more copies and echoes following her in different colors, a lot of you that use After Effects might be thinking, oh, I'm just going to increase the number of echoes. Well, we can't really do that because all of the echoes are going to be blue and we need them to be different colors. So we have to painstakingly um, add another clip for however many echoes we want. Hopefully that made sense. So to make another echo, I'm going to select my middle clip, press Control D, go to the one underneath it. So it duplicated it, just go one underneath it, if that made sense. Go to your echo, and then right here where echo time is, change that from 0.1 to 0.15. Now you have another echo behind the first echo, and then I'm just going to go to the color balance reel and then just move that around to wherever color you want, like a red. That's perfectly fine with me. And then now, if you see, look at it, we have, we should have three things. So we have her, we have the blue, and we have the red. Now I'm going to do it again with a different color, so I'm going to select the second of the bottom clip, press Control D. Now I'm going to select the bottom clip again, go to Echo, and instead of 0.15, I'm going to change it to 0.2. Okay, and then I'm going to move the color wheel again. So if we look at it now, and if I change this to about half, we should, we have a yellow, the red, the blue, and her. Just like that and then now if I uncheck the eye icon on the bottom clip it'll be integrated into the scene like this and and wait a little bit I guess we need to clean it up here it'll look like this and then you'll have the trippy effect you want thanks for watching like and subscribe and leave a comment later